Hey everyone, Fight and Hide. I'm bringing you a new segment called Clash Royale News. This is where I go over some of the greatest matchups off TV Royale, as well as talk about some interesting things that might have happened through the week. Um, the segment's the first one, but we'll do more as the weeks pass, and we'll add more content as the weeks go on. So, let's jump right in. Um, we're going to be going over some matches first that I found off uh, TV Royale, which I thought were really interesting, had great endings, um, and then we'll go over a couple of key things that happened during the week. So, kicking it off. Um, this matchup is Furkin versus Vini. Um, I picked this one because a lot of people on Reddit as well as Twitter are talking about Archer, Queen, and Hogs and how it's very OP. Um, in this instance, you'll find that Furkin's running Archer, Queen, Hogs and Vini is running Mortar, Archer, Queen. Great matchup. Um, I bring you late into overtime just because the matchup was very long, but it, the ending is really kind of interesting. So what you'll find is, and I've, I've kind of cut ahead here, um, Archer Queen Hogs isn't unbeatable. You can definitely beat it. It's all about the matchup, but in this case, you can see where Mortar is just... Mortar, I think, is OP. So, um, you'll find that as time goes on, you can chip away. You can use the Mortar for, you know, your your defense, and you can just sit there fireballing away until you got him. Chipping away with the Miner, you got him. So, again, I brought this in there because there's so much discussion about Archer Queen Hogs, but it's not as OP as I think it is. So. Um, next matchup we're going into is Kasim versus Clown. Um, I brought this matchup in, you'll see why. Let's let's watch the ending here. So um, as the match goes on, so he's playing, uh, Kasim's playing Royal Giant, Clown's playing Mortar. Um, Mortar versus Royal Giant is always a bad matchup, very, very hard to break through. So you'll find that, and I find that, you'll constantly have trouble breaking through. Once you do break through, you barely, maybe get a hit, maybe one or two. Um, and that's exactly what's going on here. You can see he gets one, maybe two hits, and then he's rocket cycling constantly. And, you know, to me, I think this was a lost match. Boom. Lightning comes in at the last possible second. This is a 1 HP win. You don't see these very often, but this is what happened. I thought this was crazy, and I love these kind of endings. Next matchup, Igor, Allison, um, both very good players, both pro players. Or Allison's, you know, slowly getting there, but you know what? It's a good matchup. I brought this matchup in here because Lava, very hard to defend. You know, um, it's easy to drop the card, it's hard to defend the card. And the opposite side, it's hard to defend when you're playing Lava. So, I brought this matchup in here because the defense that Allison does is actually pretty, pretty good. I don't know if I would have survived this long. You got your Lava, you have your, you know, your minion, you have, you know, uh, the worst one is Skeleton King because that's very hard to counter. So, between Tombstone, uh, Skeleton King, Lava, Mega Minion, it's a hard defense to pull off. But he, if you look, Allison hung in there for a very long time. I would have been dead before we even got to overtime. So, again, I brought this matchup in here just because I thought it really, really, really showed good defense. Um, I'm going to show you that towards the end. There's no way. Allison's not going to be able to pull this one. Even though running Royal Giant, um, you might have a chance. And you can see, King Power does get down to 900. There is a possibility, right? It's very, very, very close. But again, Lava is a very hard defense unless you, uh, you know, you have some way of, some way of breaking through. So, that's why I brought this match in here. Um, it's actually going to be pretty interesting. Um, you can see, Allison's Royal Giant, Royal Giant, at no point, all it needed was a couple of hits just to break through. Couldn't break through. The defense was spot on. Can't really argue. Um, everybody always talks about, oh, Lava, Lava. The defense when playing Lava is very, very hard. So, that's why I brought that match in. Thought it ended really interesting. Um, moving on. Um, what you'll find now is that I finished the matches. I'm going to talk about a couple of critical things. I want to talk about roles of Sushi. Everybody's seen uh, seen him. You know, he's up and coming. He's been playing hard. He's grinding. He's in a lot of the uh, a lot of the Twitch streams where the other players, pro players, doing his support. Um, but he actually won his first grand challenge. That that's a pretty big thing. Um, not everybody wins grand challenges, and especially his first one. He went 12 and 0, I believe. Um, that is a really, really interesting and great, uh, you know, great story, right? So remember, rolls of sushi. Follow him on Twitter. Watch his streams on Twitch. He's a great guy. Um, and then one other thing I wanted to bring up, which was really interesting. 
Um, you guys know Juicy J. Um, he's been a pro player for some time. Um, he actually won number one in global tournament this past week. That is not easy to do. There are tens and tens of thousands of people that you have to work through. Um, and at any point in time, you can get a really bad matchup. And then when you do get into the top 50, you have to play, play the other players who are very, very good and very difficult to get around. And even going into the end, he had to queue up and wait like 5 to 10 minutes just to get a match, hoping that he's going to get matches towards the end. And you can see he went through it and he was, you know, he was sweating it. And in the end, he actually ended up getting number one, which is huge. Um, so congratulations to Juicy J. I really thought that that was a great, uh, a great thing. Um, as always, guys... Please don't forget to follow, subscribe, there'll be more royal news to come. Thanks a lot and have a good night.